definitely feeling like you have to take that leap of faith that uh, taking action and expanding your heart space for some of you for new love to come in expanding your horizons for some of you as far as your career path and then for others finding adventure and, and satisfaction in a physical new location a new city a new a new state or even a new country. Greetings, beloved humans. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany. Here we explore the wisdom of the tarot. I read intuitively, offering guidance, general guidance and insights. Um, I encourage you to take what resonates with you and to leave the rest for someone else. Thank you so much for joining me on today. This is a general collective reading <clears throat> and I want to find out what spirit needs us to know as a collective to help us move forward in our everyday lives to elevate so I've already blessed my decks of cards pre-shuffled my oracle and cleared this space to bring in clarity and guidance for us all. All right, beloved humans, let's get started. <clears throat> Leap of faith. Okay. First out, we have leap of faith. For some of you, there could be some hesitation in taking the next step and taking a leap of faith is what I'm feeling. For others, I feel this is trusting, trusting your, your business, trusting your affairs, even trusting your heart to someone else in a romantic way. I feel that there has been some heartache for some of you in the area of romance and so you really feel like you have a connection with this person yet you are hesitant and are not sure if you should go forward so spirit is asking you to take a leap of faith here manifest the life that you want is what I'm feeling with this leap of faith. You take the leap of faith to manifest the life that you want, the life that you desire. Um, again, for some of you, this is a leap of faith in a particular area of your life, uh, serious matters. Along the lines of possibly home, career, um, where you live, moving, taking a leap of faith. We're going to get more understanding with the tarot and also clarify what spirit shows us. Okay. Okay. We got three cards that jumped out here. I'm going to take all three. All right. <clears throat> okay. So this leap of faith, what we're seeing with this, we have the three of wands, the eight of cups, and the magician. Absolutely. Again, for some of you, this is going to require you <clears throat> to, I would say for most of you, require you to um, take the lead, manifest, and create the life of your desire with this magician card. With that, we have the Three of Wands showing up as well. And this leap of faith definitely looks like expansion. For some of you, that is expanding your heart, um, allowing love to come in again after a hurt you may have had from a previous relationship. So Spirit is asking you to open up, expand your heart, and allow new love to come into your life with this leap of faith. And then the Eight of cups is showing up and what I'm feeling for some of you it's time to move on from that job and possibly even that particular industry or that particular career path 
some of you, it's time to actually move to a different location physically, a new city, a new state, perhaps even a new country. It's what I'm feeling. And also with this, I'm feeling like there are, for some of you that are going to have to take a leap of faith, leaving the comfort zone of relationships that you've had for quite some time, whether that's platonic or romantic, you're going to have to move on because those relationships are no longer serving you, is what I'm feeling. Um, it's it, This does require action. This leap of faith does require action from you in your physical world, in your, your spiritual world, and in your emotional world. Getting your heart fixed to take action is what I'm feeling. I'm also... I'm also getting everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. That's the leap of faith. Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Okay? So with the Eight of Cups, you are you you come into your power to take this leap of faith. Mm -hmm. I'm also feeling that. With the magician, the power you carry to manifest the life of your desires. Also, this is this is important for you to hear, beloved humans, right? There's some emotional withdrawal already. For some of you, this emotional withdrawal is your heart's not in this career anymore. You're not feeling satisfied. You don't feel that you make a difference in what career path you're on. So you have withdrawn from the work. It's just mundane and humdrum. You feel stuck and stagnated. So your heart's not in it anymore. And you're you're contemplating moving on from this job. Um, what I'm feeling real strongly is the industry actually changing career paths altogether for some of you. For others, you've emotionally withdrawn from relationships whether they're uh, friendships or they are romantic, you've emotionally withdrawn. You feel like, for some of you, you feel like you um you have been used for far too long. Uh, I'm feeling there has been some people pleasing on your part, beloved. For some of you, I feel like there has been people pleasing along the length of these platonic or even romantic relationships I'm feeling that you do not want to rock the boat is what I'm feeling let's get some clarifiers definitely feeling like you have to take that leap of faith that uh, taking action and expanding your heart space for some of you for new love to come in expanding your horizons for some of you as far as your career path and then for others, finding adventure and, and satisfaction in a physical new location, a new city, a new, a new state, or even a new country. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Take it how it resonates. Let the rest fall away. <clears throat> what else, Spirit? Let's clarify. Okay. Let's see what we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, a lot of Juan's energy is showing up for you, beloved human. The Page of Wands is clarifying our Three of Wands. Okay, so for some of you, this is definitely... A time for you to explore this what I'm feeling for some of you you will physically move locations from where you currently reside to somewhere else that's for some of you uh, for others I'm feeling the curiosity of exploring new career paths 
in in the area of love for some of you who are are looking for love i feel like this is a clear indication to while you're in the feeling of wanting love with also the apprehension of opening up your heart i definitely feel you must take time to know who you are take that time to love yourself earnestly and deeply right and then we have the eight of wands clarifying the magician in this leap of faith so the magician is creating the life of your desire um standing in your own personal power and then the eight of wands shows up and this is something that you can do with progress you can make progress in the area of your life and for some of you this will come swiftly and others it will come steady but surely in the various areas of your life is what i'm feeling but it does require action it does require movement with this eight of wands clarifying the magician and then we have the three of wands clarifying the eight of cups this is absolutely again the expansion the leveling up making progress uh in your life so expand your horizons because the three of wands and the three of um it's coming up again it's coming up twice i should say so you definitely want to sit up and pay attention to what spirit is showing you the three of wands is clarifying the eight of cups it's clarifying that apathy that um feeling of being uninterested any longer so this is a asterisk this three of wands is an asterisk for you from spirit spirit is letting you know i said what i said and i want you to get what it is i'm telling you absolutely all right here we have next we have harvest gathering of blessings again i stated with the leap of faith everything you want is on the other side of fear and then we have harvest gathering of blessings what i feel with this for some of you it takes it takes some intentional gratitude to sit deeper in your faith so that you are able to take a leap of faith when you are grateful for the things that you have when you are grateful for the experiences you've had when you are grateful for the lessons learned your harvest gather those blessings close to your heart and sit with them meditate on them is what i'm feeling for some of you you're moving so quickly through life you don't take time to smell the roses is what i'm feeling you're not taking the time to smell the roses gathering of blessings is slowing down and smelling the roses and being grateful for what it is you do have in your life and the experiences and the lessons learned is what i'm feeling being grateful for the abundance you currently have in your life with abundance when you're grateful for your abundance, beloved human, more abundance is attracted to you. When you're grateful for the success that you've had in your life so far, more success is attracted to you. When you are grateful for the material wealth and the accomplishments you've had so far in your life, more material wealth and more accomplishments are attracted to you. Do you understand what I'm sharing with you, beloved human? This is what I'm feeling. Let's go ahead and get some tarot to understand. Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit. Gathering of blessings. Absolutely. The Hermit shows up when I've when I've already shared with you to take time to stop and smell the roses. And here we have the Hermit card showing up. Going inward. Just sitting quietly with yourself, realizing the blessings that have been bestowed upon you. A harvest of blessings has been bestowed upon you. The Hermit is also here to remind you to take time to stop and smell the roses. Take time to be grateful. Take time to sit with yourself. Do some soul searching and realizing all the blessings you already have in your life, right? <clears throat> 
how what I'm also feeling for some of you is when you are in a hermit season of your life, there is room for you to attain more because you've opened yourself up from the inside out. You are able to find the gratitude, realize and recognize the gratitude for, and then that opens up space for things to come to fruition for you. Gather of blessings, harvest, and we have the queen of pentacles showing up. This is the prosperity. This is the prosperity of your life so far. So when you are able to be grateful for what you have in your life so far and nurture, nurture the blessings that you have. You nurture the blessings that you have by having gratitude for what you have. And when you nurture those blessings, more is attracted to you. More prosperity is attracted to you. More security is attracted to you. Seven of Wands and death. Absolutely. What I'm feeling for some of you who have been moving so quickly and have not stopped to take time to smell the roses, things are going to slow down for you. Things are going to slow down for you so that you are able to recognize how abundant your life truly is. And you're able to attract more abundance because of your gratitude. I'm feeling for some of you that the the era of entitlement is coming to an end. I'm feeling entitlement for some reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the era of entitlement. You are going to recognize that the entitlement that you carry with you, it must come to an end because it does not serve you well is what I'm feeling. That is coming to an end so that you are able to be grateful instead of entitled. This is what I'm feeling. This is the message I'm getting from spirit. Mm -hmm. This is a new beginning, a new outlook on life. Having a more balanced life, more more give and take in your life, more play in your life. You work hard, you play hard. You work hard, you don't play at all is what I'm feeling. And this is that is coming to an end. That season of work, work, work is coming to an end because for some of you, the season of always working is not allowing you to have space for gratitude in your life and to gather your blessings that you already have, right? And we have the Seven of Wands clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. And for some of you, I feel like this is showing your courage. The courage that you use to get you to a Queen of Pentacles moment. It shows your initiative, beloved human, that you took time to be grateful. You took time to... Stop and smell the roses. You took time to nurture the things, the good things in your life. And when you take time to nurture and have gratitude for the things that are good in your life, more of that good is attracted to you, beloved human. So that seven of wands is allowing me to know that you had courage to do things. You had courage to do things that others wouldn't do is what I'm feeling, and that courage has allowed you to live a queen of pentacles life. <clears throat> it has allowed you, that courage and that initiative has allowed you to gain prosperity, and you should be grateful every day for your prosperity, every day for your stability, and you yourself are nurturing. Continue to stand in that energy. Nurture yourself so that you are able to nurture others well is what I'm feeling. And then we have antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. Antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. What I'm feeling is this is going to take 
intention and focus in this time of your life, beloved human, because things are speeding up. You are going to be required to find a balance with the things that are coming into you, creating some harmony in your life because things are going to speed up because you are taking a leap of faith things are going to speed up and it could feel off kilter for some of you you could feel a little uneasy a little unstable because of how rapid things are moving and changing for you but there's also harmony that you can have in this time of change, in this time of rapid change. I feel like you are able to find a balance for your life, right? Able to find harmony. And what I'm also feeling with this antelope spirit is cooperate with the universe, the, the universe conspires to see you win at every turn. So I, I, I'm feeling that cooperation is required on your part, and that is to cooperate with the universe as things ramp up for you, as rapid changes happen for you, as you take this leap of faith and you are grateful for the blessings that you have to allow space for more blessings to come in for a greater harvest, enlarging your territory, expanding your life in each area, each corner of your life, right? Cooperate with the universe is what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yes. As I was saying to you, cooperate with the universe. Temperance shows up. That is finding that harmony. That is finding that balance that you need in your life. Cooperating with the universe finding balance, finding harmony as these rapid changes happen for you as life is speeding up because you've taken this leap of faith and that is you cooperating with the universe to understand the universe conspires to see you win at all costs, right? That leap of faith is a part of cooperating with the universe, absolutely. And then you have the four of wands. This is absolutely the sign that spirit is sending you, that there is victory in this process for you, beloved human. There is victory in this process for you. There's a celebration. You will achieve and attract the desires of your heart as you've taken this leap of faith, right? That's what I'm feeling for you. This, this part of your life is extremely ex inspiring to you. As you are inspired, you you come into more of your, your manifestation powers as you are inspired with this Four of Wands. Your, your personal power grows. Your assurity and confidence grows. And you are a more capable and powerful manifester is what I'm feeling for you, beloved human. With that Four of Wands, let's clarify that. Absolutely. Okay. We have the king, the queen of pentacles twice for you showing up in your reading. There is Virgo in this reading. There's Scorpio in this reading, Sagittarius in this reading, uh, Capricorn in this reading. So maybe this is for you. These, these, these zodiacs are somewhere in your birth chart, but that is what's coming through with the tarot. With the devil card clarifying the four of wands, this is, the devil card is clarifying the four of wands. And for some of you, this is a caution not to become too materialistic. That's what I feel. Do not become too materialistic because you are attracting so much abundance in every area of your life. Spirit is warning you, do not become super materialistic. Stay grateful for the things that you have and are able to attain and afford. Be mindful of that is what I'm feeling. Be mindful that 
cooperation with the universe is still required as you gain the desires of your heart and the manifestation of your life unfolds in front of you. The devil is reminding you to stay cooperative with the universe because the moment you feel like you don't need the universe's help anymore, things will come to a standstill. Things will, you will be a slave to your, your material lifestyle. That's what I'm feeling. And this is this not, take this how this resonates. This is not for everyone. But for some of you, if you are not mindful of the things that you are attracting and you become too materialistic with these things, you will become a slave to these things. That's just caution from spirit. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles showing up again twice in your reading, this time clarifying the Temperance card, right? So again, just absolutely being practical with the way your life is going because it is moving so rapidly. Just make sure you're taking a practical approach. Spirit is reminding you that of that with this Queen of Pentacles energy. Okay, be practical with the things you do and the decisions you make, not being frivolous with the abundance that is coming towards you is what I feel some of you need to hear, right? Being able to stay in harmony with the universe, stay in harmony with the things that are coming towards you and the things that challenge you, not allowing those challenging situations, people or places or things, not allowing those challenging uh, things that come into your life to upset your apple cart is what I'm feeling. Find a balance with your emotion as well. Being able to stabilize yourself in challenging moments. They will come up. They will happen. But I feel that you have the ability with this queen of pentacles showing up that you are a nurturing and steady emotion. So you are able to face those challenges head on when they do show up with grace and dignity is what I'm feeling. Final advice from Spirit before we close out your reading, beloved human, for the collective. Spirit, final advice for the collective. If you will, please do tell. Mm -hmm. Feast of plenty, choices and their consequences. Feast of plenty, choices and their consequences. I feel like this is coming into clarify and final advice from spirit is being mindful not to become over overtly um cocky because you attract so much and your life is absolutely looking beautiful and you're winning at every turn so i feel like the final advice from spirit this feast of plenty this gathering of the harvest and all those things that you are attracting to yourself, choices and their consequences. This is the practicality of the queen of uh, pentacles coming up. Because for every choice we make, there is a consequence. And the consequence can be positive or negative. So be sure that you are down to earth. Is what I'm feeling. Keep your feet on the ground. Stay grounded. Continue to dream big and manifest those, those desires of your heart and bring your dreams down to earth. Absolutely is what I'm feeling. Yet be practical in your in how you operate in the world and the choices you make, the choices in how you decide to treat people, the choices in how you decide to spend or save your your money, the choices in the beliefs you carry about yourself and about others in the world, beloved human. For some of you, I feel that the choice you make about what you believe of yourself 
it has to be shifted. This is for some of you, not all of you, because the consequence of limiting beliefs is a limited life. You follow what I'm saying, beloved? The consequences of limiting beliefs about yourself is a limited life. And that is not what spirit wants for you. That is not what spirit is showing you. Spirit has shown you take that leap of faith. Things will be moving rapidly when you do, but don't forget to be grateful for what you've experienced, what you have.